हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज शायन एंड वेलकम टू माय बायोलॉजी क्लास टुडे वी विल लर्न अबाउट द बेसिक बायोलॉजी ऑफ एड्स द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ एच वायरस मेकानिज्म ऑफ एच आई इन्फेक्शन इन आवर बॉडी एंड ऑल्सो ट्राई टू फाइंड आउट द डिफिकल्टीज ऑफ डिजाइनिंग ड्रग्स और वैक्सीन अगेंस्ट दिस वायरस सो इफ यू वॉच दिस वीडियो टिल द एंड योर बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट ऑन दिस बायोलॉजी of aids will be clear and if you like it then don't forget to like share and subscribe our channel the full form of aids is acquired immunodeficiency syndrome this disorder is better termed as syndrome because it has several manifestation in human bodies this disease or disorder is actually caused by hiv virus its full form is human immuno immuno deficiency deficiency virus virus this is actually a retrovirus this virus actually destroy our cellular components of immune system in our body especially the components of acquired immunity acquired immunity acquired immunity that means it may enter or infect any immune cells in our body like macrophages macrophages b cells or t cells but it will only target and destroy the t cell colony especially the th cells with cd4 receptors this is the component of acquired immunity so after the infection by hiv we lose our immunity that has been acquired through our life span that means it is a kind of syndrome that lead to the deficiency of acquired immunity the immunity that has been acquired by our body throughout our life span so in such condition several mild infection may lead to death such infections caused during this time are known as opportunistic infection opportunistic infections so what is actually the opportunistic infection some example of such kind of opportunistic infections are meningitis meningitis uh encephalitis pneumonia pneumonia tb a tuberculosis so these are some example of opportunistic infection so finally hiv the virus and several opportunistic infection causing agents may lead to the aids so this is a general concept of aids now let's discuss about the structural details of the hiv virus now with the help of this simple diagram we will try to understand the structure of hiv virus hiv virus is a retrovirus that means its genetic component is rna not the dna these are two identical sets of single stranded rna that means this virus contain two identical sets of single stranded rna not the double stranded rna they also contain certain specific type of enzymes like reverse transcriptase integrase and protease only these three types of enzymes are present inside this virus and this component that means rna and three different enzymes are packed inside their capsid so this lining is their capsid and finally at the external most region is covered by lipid envelope they help in their protection on this lipid envelope we may find several glycoprotein receptor known as gp120 gp stand for glycoprotein this receptor help them to bind with different immune cells in our body so this is the general structure of hiv virus 
whenever this virus infect any of our body cell they will only enter the single stranded rna and these three enzymes rest of the body that means capsid along with the envelope and gp120 remain outside the host cell now let's discuss about the mechanism of hiv infection infection if you want to know about the mechanism of infection of this virus you need to know the life cycle of this virus now let's discuss about the life cycle of hiv whenever the hiv virus enters our body it try to find different immune cells and whenever the hiv virus succeed to find any immune cells with the help of this glycoprotein gp120 receptor and several other cell membrane bound receptor as found on the immune cells they will identify those immune cells and enters those immune cells in that respect you have to know one thing that only the single stranded rna along with some viral enzyme enter in any host cell rest of the capsid and envelope remain outside the cell now inside the host cell this single stranded mrna get converted into double stranded dna with the viral enzyme reverse transcriptase now this double stranded dna enters the nucleus of any host cell and by the presence of another viral enzyme that is integrase this viral dna enter the host chromosome now after proper integration of this viral dna into the host chromosome it can now produce multiple copies along with the replication of this original host chromosome and whenever this host chromosome will transcribe it will also produce the viral copies of the mrna now this mrna will travel out from the nucleus and in the cytoplasm this mrna will produce all of its required enzymes proteins to form another fully functional viral body now all the required enzymes along with some mrna viral mrna they are fully ready to produce a fully functional viral body then the fully functional virus will evade out this host cell and become fully functional to enter into another new host cell to perform the life cycle once again thus this infected host cell will actually act as a factory as a reservoir to produce several multiple copies of virus so whenever any hiv virus hiv virus enters any human body it generally target macrophages macrophages for its initial entrance within the macrophages it continues several copies of cell divisions are being remain inactive by its nature so from these macrophages they actually produce several new copies of viruses and after few days these new virus enter th cells th cells whenever this virus enters the th cells they start destroying the th cell and express pathogenicity for the first time whenever the 60% of our body th cell get destroyed at that condition the pathogenicity of the aids fast expressed but our body become too weak to respond against any kind of foreign pathogen at that stage so this is the mode of infection of hiv in our body and as the glycoprotein receptor that is gp120 present on the outer envelope of hiv virus is very mutation prone virus can mutate this coating very rapidly that's why it is too hard to design any drug or any vaccine for or against the hiv virus so this concludes our today's discussion on aids i hope you got clear idea about this topic still if you have any queries you can ask me in the comment box that's all for today we will meet with another video next time till then goodbye